here's a demonstration of roll center on a B4 uh, world that I've got one of the ball studs here mounted with a lot of spacers. It's really high. This lowers the roll center significantly. And on this side, I've actually got it, if you can see it, it's mounted underneath the U-brace. Um, this does bind up once I get to about here, but don't worry, we're not going to go that far. Uh, in order to do that, I've had to move the link out, one hole on the brace and one hole in the hub, but I've done it on both sides, it shouldn't make any difference here. Uh, I've got two arbor plates, just uh, solid mild steel. They're going to keep the tires from moving left and right to take out tire contact patch from the equation at all. So let's just assume that traction is a constant here. We'll just demonstrate the differences between roll. When you have the link mounted this high, which is lower roll center, and this low, which is a dramatic but higher roll center. In order to demonstrate this, I'm going to put this car here in between the arbor plates so when I'm pushing on each side, uh, it will not go anywhere and you will only see the roll in the chassis. I've got an old V2 shock here, which has a spring on it, which is going to prove that I am putting the same amount of force onto each side. So I'm going to put that on the shock tower. And first off, the high roll center side, I'm going to compress that almost all the way down. As you can see, it doesn't really compress the shock all that much on this side. Now this is a lateral force, just like the car is in a corner, is rotating around the center of gravity. Now we're going to take this shock off, throw it on the other side, switch hands that I'm holding here recording, and now I'm going to push onto the side with the link that's really high, which is the lower roll center. And watch now, much more pronounced roll effect as I compress this all the way. See the you can actually see the shock compressing pretty significantly. Now we'll just repeat it on the other side just for a double check to make sure I'm not smoking crack here. And as I compress this in, next to no movement, comparatively speaking to the other side. You can actually see the car as I do this, and I'll just even get it working really good. It does not really roll that direction. Move the shock over to the other side once again, back to the high link, low roll center, and work this shock. And you can clearly see that, that side is rolling significantly more. The shock is actually compressing very visibly.